Some viewers may find the following video disturbing. Viewer discretion is advised. Well, hello and welcome back to the channel, everybody. In today's video, I'm going to talk about a uh, particular more sovereign citizen who I featured on this channel quite a while ago, who has recently met a, well, tragic end. So let's go ahead and sit back, relax, and try to enjoy the show. And right now we're going to start with KDK lead investigator Andy Sheehan. You've been with us here all day uh, talking to your sources and really key in unraveling a timeline in all of this and a, a potential motive uh, in terms of what, what sparked this today with the suspect. Uh, just an incredible day, an incredible amount of gunfire in a residential neighborhood and just as miraculous or as miraculous is the fact that only the only injury that we know of is a sheriff deputy uh, suffered a cut to his head when he evaded gunfire when initially uh, serving a, an eviction notice on the suspect in this house. Now, now I will be intercutting various clips from uh, the previous video I did on this uh, more sovereign citizen, and and he was quite hostile in that uh, video that came up about months ago. I almost expected this kind of thing out of him, but thankfully nobody else other than him was unalive during this whole thing. So let's go ahead and continue on to the next clip. Man, this is so crazy. Now this is more up on me. Y'all want to know the date? <laughs> you don't know you the date, right? Y'all fictitious, fake. That, that's what the U.S. citizens, they fake fictitious. That's what y'all are. Y'all got no doors bitching over us. Yeah, fuck it. Yeah, just try walking around in Paris, let's say, and break a law and say, oh, I'm not under your jurisdiction. Uh, yeah, I bet the French authorities would just laugh in your face and haul you off to jail anyway. And telling them that they are fake and fictitious authority figures, well, that wouldn't help the situation out either. Because they would have authority over you. As long as you're in their country, you have to obey their laws. And since you are driving around in the United States and still a United States citizen, you have to have a driver's license to travel around in a vehicle. No if ands or buts. What we know is that uh, sheriff deputies shortly before 11 o'clock this morning came to this house with this eviction notice, uh, tried to talk the suspect out of the house. Uh, when that was not successful, they used a, a battering ram and when they used that battering ram on the front door, they were met with lethal gunfire. Uh, the deputies scrambled for cover, took defensive positions, uh, they exchange hundreds and hundreds of rounds of gunfire with the suspect, uh, pinned down, were engaged in that gun battle until they were relieved and rescued, in one case, uh, by Pittsburgh SWAT team. During the course of the afternoon, there were several vo volleys of gunfire between SWAT and this suspect, all initiated by the suspect himself, who, uh, as we just heard from Chief uh, Scarato, uh, did not avail himself of any opportunity to uh, peacefully, peacefully uh, surrender himself. Uh, the volleys went on for several, several hours, two hours. There was a cessation of that for about a uh, two hours uh, period. Uh, the police believed that he may be, uh, have been deceased at that point. Uh, that was not the case. There was another uh, round of gunfire that came from the, from the house uh, police at that point uh, sent a drone into the house where they identified the suspect, where the suspect was. Uh, they concentrated their gunfire on the suspect, on that area of the house. And as it turns out, uh, the suspect, we believe, was wounded by that gunfire. And now we have confirmed that he is, in fact, dead. Yeah, we also now, this is pretty much the result of these sovereign citizen gurus on the Moorish end as well, feeding people like this really bad and false information. I mean, we are not born with uh, these trusts that uh, foreign investors uh, put into our names. We, uh, we have to obey the laws of the country that we are in. You just can't 
pick and choose which constitutional amendments that you wish to follow and and uh, not follow the rest of them. And the Treaty of Peace and Friendship is about uh, two countries uh, becoming allies centuries ago, and it but it does not absolve anybody of their crimes in this country, nor Morocco. And speaking of Morocco, if the United States was conquered by Morocco sometime after the Revolutionary War, then why the hell is it not in the history books? Because normally whenever a country is conquered, it kind of gets uh, whittled down to almost nothing or uh, changed in some way, or it's in the, their history books that they, they were conquered. Not, not to mention if the Moroccans had conquered the United States and still rule us to this day, why aren't they imposing their laws on us at this point? I mean, it's just common sense, dude. I was just going to say, Chief Scarato was asked if they knew at this early juncture if the suspect died perhaps from a self-inflicted gunshot or was shot by police. And the chief said, uh, we believe, I think the word he used was the suspect was neutralized in the gunfight. Correct. So that's, that's what yeah. the, the chief confirms. And that's what, that's what uh, police believe. They were uh, all through this day very cautious, mm -hmm. very trying to use time on, on, on their side. Uh, very, very patient with this, uh, with this gunman and uh, asking him to surrender peacefully and they would never um, avail themselves. Yeah, and, and uh, the, the, the suspect that we see now um, is uh, uh, William uh, Hardison. Uh, we know that uh, his brother um, had owned the house. We are efforting to find out the situation with the house. Uh, the brother had died. The house uh, transferred um, into uh, other hands. Uh, but uh, Mr. Harrison uh, did not uh, avail himself uh, of, the, of that eviction warning that there was posted by the sheriffs. Now, in the press conference earlier here, uh, Allegheny County Sheriff Kevin Krauss um, said that they had a pre-meeting uh, before executing this eviction notice at the house. Uh, they had some information that this may be an especially volatile situation but uh, the sheriff says they were not prepared for what they faced. And, and you early on. Uh... Well, that pretty much explains it right there, everybody. He may have inherited the property from his brother, but if the, uh, his brother still had a mortgage to pay on the house, then he would have inherited that mortgage too. And, uh, well, you know how Moors are. Uh, they don't believe in paying bills at all. So I'm sure the bank got involved and started the eviction and everything like that. And, uh, well, he uh, probably didn't want to leave. Because in the previous video, he had that standard uh, more sovereign citizen philosophy that the Moors were here first, and they own all the property in the world. So that's probably what his belief system was, and he was, felt that he was defending his property. But that's not how this works. He doesn't live in the Moorish kingdom, he lived in reality. And unfortunately, he was unable to cope with that reality. And it ate him up until, well, these teachings of these Moorish sovereign citizen gurus who have all sorts of uh, bad and faulty information finally got to him. And, well, this is the result of that. And you know what? I'm not going to show any more of this. He, he's gone now. Let him rest in peace, but he's forever going to be an example of how far these extremists will go in defending what they believe. I mean, this is not going to be an easy process to deal with. So at any rate, guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. Thanks for watching, and I will see you on the next one.